Commissioner of Agriculture, Steve Troxler. And I have with me today, uh, Kyra Whitmore. Uh, she is a dairy unit manager with our Piedmont Resource Station. And Kyra, how long have you been working for us? I've been working for the department for eight years in May. Eight years. And I hope you enjoyed every day of it. Of course, every day. <laughs> How does the work that you do at the resource station impact farmers? So we do a lot of different research. Um, right now we're doing some research on Angus Holstein cross calves, which is really important in the industry right now. Hoping that we can tell the industry, hey, we should feed calves this way or what worked and what didn't work on how to grow dairy cross calves to be competitive in the meat market. Uh, how in the world did you get involved in dairy work? So um, I actually grew up on a grain farm in Northwest Ohio, and my grandfather had a dairy farm in Indiana, and my mom was big in us doing 4-H, and she said, well, what do you want to do? You want to show pigs like your brother? And I said, no. <laughs> and so she's like, well, I think we could probably get one of granddad's heifers that's left over. You want to show a dairy animal? And I said, yes. And so I fell in love with the little brown cow and I've been on a dairy farm ever since. And my dad asked me, he said, well, if you want to be in the dairy industry, you need a job on the dairy in, in the dairy industry. And so uh, I started my first job on a dairy farm at 15 and I've been on eight different dairies since. How in the world did you get to North Carolina? So we actually, my husband and I went to a Jersey conference together and we met there in the summer. And we reconnected about three years later and started dating. And I told him, I said, if I'm going to move to North Carolina, I'm not moving for a boyfriend. I, I want to, you better propose or I needed a job. So I applied for the dairy job at the research station. Well, that, that is amazing. And we're sure all happy that it happened that way. Uh, walk me through a typical day uh, in your work. Um, so our mornings kind of start off we hope normal we get get to the farm and we get ready to milk cows and milk cows feed cows take care of the babies get any new babies up and then our afternoons kind of uh, vary we do some vaccinations cleaning uh, moving animals around just daily care of all hunt we have um, about 400 animals that we care for every day so there's usually something that needs taken care of of those 400 animals. What is your favorite part of the job? I really, I've really enjoyed animal health. Um, I like solving problems. So my favorite part of the job is like, if we have a cow that has something going on, I like to look at her. I like to figure out, okay, this is what's bothering her. This is how I can fix that problem for her. And so I really enjoy the animal health side of things and taking care of the animals. Um, I understand your son, Tate, has a special connection to the research station. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So my son, Tate, was born at 24 weeks, and um, I had gone to the office to talk to my supervisor about some paperwork, and I didn't feel very well. And so I called the girls I worked with and said, would you bring me ice pack? I think I just need to sit down for a minute. And about 30 minutes later, I was laboring in the office at the research station. So um, it's it's been really, everyone really had my back because we spent four months in the NICU with my son. Um, and I couldn't have imagined being anywhere else because my research station employees are my best friends. And they supported me through all of that, even though it was a lot of doctor visits for a while. It was me going to the NICU after work every day to see my son. So he uh, he tried to come at the research station, so but I'm glad he did it. <laughs> I couldn't imagine working anywhere else because uh, my best friends work at the research station. And I've been so lucky that we have a lot of women that work, work at the dairy and we're all in our mid 30s but it's just a big family and we all take care of each other and we try to help all the units try to work together and help each other out when we need it so i really enjoy the people i work with every day and i couldn't imagine working anywhere else so and we certainly do appreciate you doing what you do every day so thank you and uh, we will see you soon at the research station yep i'll be there <laughs>